who in the world thought it would be a good idea to uh, release this in stores? Like, bro, what, what, what is this? It is that like all black? That, that doesn't even look accurate. Like, like this is what the front end should look like, and then this is what this front end looks like. Like, dude, that is so bad, man. It looks way off. I honestly thought you guys would stop using the PTC mode after Wii 13, but no. You guys have to make this. And just wow. Just, just, just take a look at this. Look at this. You can barely I don't know if you, I don't know if you can't see it on the camera, but look, you can barely see the 47 on there. Like you can barely see it, but that says 47 right there. Just look at that. You see the 47 there, same with that. It says already spring it too. You can see. I don't know if you can barely see that, but I can see it. On you know, camera. Even the hood too. Like, bro, what is. Come on. Who who made these? Look. Kroger. I don't I don't think you can see it, but. Yeah, you can see bit parts of the Kro of Kroger, the logo on it. I, I don't know why I went out ever thought these are acceptable and don't even get me started on that interior like I, don't, like I can't really take these apart but well that one i heard the interiors are really really bad i hate them they're like they're just so dang cheap like, come on why what 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 are you guys doing why no like that, that this is just unacceptable the old molds aren't even that better either like well some of them anyway but yeah some of these have like this like the blurry, blurry decals. Like, did, did, did you rush these or something like that? Or maybe it's an error or something? Like, I mean, it's on all the diecast, but is there like a like a mistake in the factory when they made these decals? Like, like come on, that's just bad quality, man. Like, you could have just like gone back and just made these quality e decals better, but no. The front ends look pretty bad too, in my opinion. Like this, this is what a front end should look like. Should look like, look like. And this is what the front end on this one looks like. Like the grill is way too small compared to this one. These parts here, they they just they're honestly wrong shape. That's what it looks like right here. And this is what it looks like right here. I mean, like, come on. That is just, that is so bad. The Gen 6 PTC mode cars aren't even that better. In fact, I think they might be worse. Look at this. That's not a 2021 front end. This is a 2021 painting, by the way, but that is not a 2021 front end. Like, this is what it should look like. And this is what this looks like. Like, why? Why? Why did you, why did you do this? And the paint scheme is pretty off on this diecast, too. Like, the colors are pretty off compared to the actual um, car he ran with. I just I just don't understand why you guys keep doing this. Like I know you're trying to like, cut costs or something, but this is just ridiculous, man. Can I just mention how bad these roll? Like, take a listen to this. that wheel it's like stuck do I even need to explain what this looks like okay I actually didn't throw this die cast but uh just bro look at that just 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 what went wrong here that's like the most disastrous front end I have ever seen like, just take a good close look at that that is really sad. Like, that is so sad. And that's not the worst part, too. Look at this! Like, what is this? It, is that. Why is the Goodyear logo backwards? What the actual fu- But. Why? You guys had it right there, but. but what, why? How? How? How did you guys mess up that bad? Like, oh my god, what was I saying? That. 
Why did you guys do this? That is that is so bad. That is Oh my god, that is that is absolutely pathetic. I wasn't really a big fan of this paint scheme when it came out. But somehow Wino managed managed to screw this up to the point where this is this is officially the worst diecast I've ever gotten. Just wow.